Hello friends here in this video we will see a problem in which a body has been subjected to two stresses in mutually perpendicular directions here is the question whatever is given here i'll read and write it in the form of data now here it is given that the principal stresses at a point in the section of a member are 100 newton per mm square and 50 newton per mm square both tensile in nature so here the first stress is principal stress which is sigma x 100 newton per mm square and second is sigma y 50 newton per mm square both are given as tensile so they are positive next find normal and tangential stresses that is sigma n and sigma t normal and tangential across the plane passing through that point inclined at 60 degree so theta is 60 degree to the plane having 100 newton per mm square stress this i'll explain with the help of a diagram in the solution it is given that also find resultant stress so we have to find out the resultant stress then angle of obliquity which is denoted by phi and the normal stress on a plane of maximum shear normal stress is sigma suffix n so this is the question we have here is the data now let us try to get the solution to this problem now in the solution part first i'll draw the diagram to explain it in a more effective manner now here is the member and it is subjected to stresses in both x and y directions and they are tensile so along x 100 newton per mm square along y it is 50 newton per mm square next now where is this theta that we have to know it was given that find the normal and tangential stresses across the plane that is we have to find the stresses across this plane which is passing through a point inclined at 60 degree to the plane having 100 newton per mm square stress so now this is the plane which ha which is having 100 newton per mm square stress to this plane we have another plane which is inclined at 60 degree to this and this is the plane on which we have to find out all these stresses on this oblique plane we can say that it is an oblique plane or even an inclined plane so once we know the diagram we can directly start with the solution so since for a body subjected to stresses in two mutually perpendicular directions first i'll start with normal stress normal stress is given by sigma n is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into it was cos 2 theta so now here we have the formula of normal stress i'll put the values here 
now s sigma x is positive so i'll directly write 100 sigma y is also positive 50 you divide by 2 plus sigma x 100 sigma y is 50 into cos 2 theta so theta is given as 60 so here if i calculate the answer of normal stress comes out to be 62.5 newton per mm square this is the first answer now after getting normal stress we will find tangential stress so tangential stress is given by sigma t is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into it is sine 2 theta so here i'll put the values sigma x 100 sigma y 50 sine 2 into theta is 60 degree so from this i'll get tangential stress and it is 21.65 newton per mm square so this is the second answer now after finding the normal and tangential stress in the problem they have also told to calculate the resultant stress angle of obliquity and normal stress on plane of maximum shear so first starting with resultant stress i'll say that resultant stress is given by sigma suffix r is equal to root of sigma n square plus sigma t square so therefore sigma r will be equal to root of sigma n it was 62.5 square plus sigma t 21.65 square so the resultant stress answer it comes out to be 66.14 newton per mm square this is the third answer after this angle of obliquity so angle of obliquity is given by phi is equal to it is denoted by phi tan inverse of sigma t by sigma n so putting the values therefore phi is equal to tan inverse of sigma t it was 21.65 sigma n 62.5 so therefore phi it comes out to be 19.1 degree this is the fourth answer and at last we have to find the normal stress on plane of maximum shear so therefore normal stress on plane of maximum shear so now normal stress on plane of maximum shear that is sigma n is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 sigma x 100 sigma y 50 divided by 2 so this is the normal stress which comes out to be 75 newton per mm square on the plane of maximum shear this is the fifth answer so now if we look into the problem there were five unknown values so first was the normal stress we have found out the answer of normal stress it was 62.5 newton per mm square so this was the first answer next 
was tangential stress we have found out the value it was 21.65 newton per mm square then resultant stress 66.14 newton per mm square then angle of obligative phi 19.1 degree at last the normal stress on the plane having maximum shear that is 75 newton per mm square after getting all the unknowns we can say that the problem has been completed